word for this week is resto mod. We have a new customer, his name's Troy, and he's always wanted a Chevelle. But this one, he wants to ride and drive like a modern car. Step one, we locate a car. This build's getting it all from top to bottom. We're gonna be doing a motor, interior, suspension, paint, you name it, we're changing it. So I'm gonna get with Musa right now, go over the design, and then send it off to the customer, make sure we get it signed off, and then the guys have a blueprint to start working. Musa. What's up? Got a Resto Mod. Resto, Resto Mod. Resto Mod. What car? 66 Chevelle. 66 Convertible Chevelle. though. Not a hard top. The one we found online is red. So it's coming with, it's, I think it's red with a black top, black interior. Okay. He wants white with like a navy blue and white interior, but everything new. So we're gonna basically take the whole car, break it fully down, paint it, do the interior, do the suspension. We're gonna add air ride to it, um, an LS motor, big wheels. Wow, a lot on this one. Everything. So pretty much everything you can think of that we can put onto this car, we're gonna do. But so definitely the interior to be modern. Okay. Well, since doing, we're doing a rest of mod interior, maybe we can add, is it a bench seat right now? Yeah. It is a bench. Yeah. So maybe we can change it to two buckets and put a center console in the center. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. And all the trim mm. black, I think that'll look nice. Mm -hmm. But I think I want to do that white pearl we've done a few times. Remember With on the like Lil's blue, DeLorean? Blue pearl kind yeah. of? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. But I need to get them a rendering to get them approve it. All right. I'll get to it then. All right. What do you think? Dakota. Uh -huh. Little piglet. Now that the design is approved, it's time to get this car broken down so we can get it painted white. Hi guys, uh, I have a Chevelle and we're gonna replace the whole suspension. As you see, we got upper arm, lower arm, sway bar, air ride, airbags, signal, brakes. So on this one, we got a little ahead of ourselves. The car is painted white but we forgot one main thing, shaving the door handles. So Moscow's gonna do that. While he's doing that, the guys are gonna start the top. We're gonna get the interior laid out. Alex is gonna get in there, build the console, start building the audio system. And then this thing will go back into paint. Check it out, right now we got Moscow helping out with the, putting the doors in the interior. We already got all the insulation from second skin in the vehicle ready to go. Most of the wire is ready to go for the air ride suspension and the sound system. As you guys can see right here in, in the bottom, we did a cut up for a bound pass enclosure. Maximize base while the top is down for the convertible part. You know, and right here, I'm gonna show you the time traveling machine that we're installing. <laughs> well, that's what it looks like, but it's, in reality, it's the air ride suspension, all in one, put together nicely. Uh, back here, 
we're starting to do the panels so you don't you don't see actually anything at the end of the fabrication part we got our amplifiers right here everything's ready and wired up doing some kick panels at the moment these are all my pieces making everything out of wood and pvc plastic i'm going to align my frame to make sure everything's nice and straight as you can see i got my pvc plastic already with my speakers in there or Check it out. I'm tracing it. So I know where my template's gonna end up. I'll go ahead and glue this together. Then I get my insert coming in, with my press grill. And the third insert that I chose to do, just to give it some different colors at the end. I'm about to work everything right here. Some of this is going to be painted closer to match the interior of the vehicle. I'm building the center console for the Chevelle. I decided that I wanted to fiberglass this portion of it, you know, just because of the curve, you know, make it nice and strong. You do one side. And the reason for stretching it, it's so when you lay all your fiberglass resin and everything, your fiberglass material, it doesn't sag on you. Start applying your resin. Make sure it soaks right through it. We'll continue to saturate through. And now we let it dry. Ahorita voy a preparar la, la carpeta para el Chevel. Es una carpeta este, que usan los Mercedes, es una carpeta alemana. Y ahorita la estoy preparando para empezarla a instalar en el, en el Chevel. So the Resto Mod's coming along really good. The center console looks amazing. The sound system sounds great. Mosco just finished installing the Ride Tech suspension. Next, he's going to rebuild the axle. Then it's time to bring in the muscle. Aquí tenemos el diferencial de atrás, en el cual le vamos a instalar uh, frenos de cuatro pistones. Como ven, aquí tengo este lado ya listo. Después iniciaremos y diremos este lado acá. Una vez hecho ya esto, instalados sus frenos, lo vamos a poner en el carro. Now it's time to install the engine. We're gonna install a LS3 motor. Besides having the power that he needs, it's also gonna be fuel injected, so he's not gonna have a problem with cold start. What we got here is crate motor with Tranny, pre-assembled, fighting to get it in, trying to get this sucker gone. Running into an issue with a uh, <laughs> motor mount. <laughs> we gotta get it more forward and then we can put it back together. So, let's make a progress. Uh, we got the LS platform already inside the car now, the trans is bolted up, we're waiting on a drive shaft to be made. We got the uh, passenger side exhaust in, we decided to go with the short tube headers just due to the fact long tube, we're not going to really sure if we can make them fit. Uh, radiators in, we just need to do some plumbing for the cooling system and then get the uh, exhaust on the other side and hopefully we can get this thing running soon. We got the LS3 in, 4L65 e-trans. Uh, we had a lot of customizing to do. 
how to do a lot of different fuel lines, a lot of different radiator lines. So let's see if it starts up and how well it's going. The Chevelle is finished and looks amazing. From the interior, the custom paint, the suspension, the motor, the top, I mean, everything on this car was restored. I think Troy's gonna be blown away. All right, we just got my car, my dream car, 66 Chevelle from West Coast Customs. Absolutely love it. I'm a car guy, but this is my dream car right here. And as you see, it's simple, it's beautiful. We take it out every weekend. It's absolutely my car, I go get coffee in. And I have a ton of cars, and it's the car I get most looks for sure. Everybody's stopping us and saying, beautiful build, I'm super proud. I love it.